Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Point. Happy Monday, it is Monday so it is meal prep day. I love prepping my meals, having healthy things on hand really saves me from making unhealthy choices during the week. So we are making three absolutely incredible and when I say incredible, I mean incredible recipes. So if you're excited, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you never miss a future video. I do a meal prep every single Monday. YouTube has been turning off bell notifications, so just double check that yours is turned to all so you never miss a video. Check out the description box for my recipe website where you will find all of today's recipes, all of the hundreds of recipes that I've created are all on my website. Nutrition Coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching, highly recommend. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and of course, don't forget, come on over, join us on Facebook, we'd love to have you. So we have lots of recipes to prep, so let's get started. breakfast this week, I am making strawberry oatmeal bars. I am so excited for these. I'm going to pair them with some eggs and it's going to be the perfect breakfast. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need some salt. I shared these really awesome salt and pepper shakers that I picked up off of Amazon. You literally turn it over and it starts grinding and it has this really cool blue light. They're just really fun, super affordable, and you can grind fresh salt and pepper. So I'll link them for you. I did link them in my what I eat in a day last week as well, but we've been loving them. And then you'll need some unsweetened applesauce, all-purpose flour, rolled oats, sweetener of your choice, I'm using the Lakanto monk fruit granulated as always you guys know how much I love Lakanto I love all their sweetener alternatives the powder the granulated the brown sugar so I'll link Lakanto down in the description box with 15% off for you you'll also need some cornstarch baking powder some fresh strawberries and lastly some cinnamon first thing we're going to do is dice up our strawberries we want about two cups of diced strawberries I will probably end up doing this whole container Container or pretty close to it. I'm just going to put my strawberries here in this bowl so I figure if I fill this bowl we're right about two cups. So to get started we're going to add one cup of rolled oats one half of a cup of flour, one third cup of the Lakanto monk fruit granulated, one quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and then about a quarter teaspoon of salt. So I wanna show you guys these, they're so cool. So all you do is turn it over and it automatically grinds, lights it up blue, it's so fun. Super easy to use. You don't have to sit there and twist, twist, twist to get the salt or pepper out. And again, you just have fresh ground salt and pepper, which is truly the best. And then we're going to mix all of that dry, all of those dry ingredients together. Now we're going to add one third cup of our unsweetened applesauce, and that is in place of any oil in the recipe because unsweetened applesauce is zero points and won't add any additional points, but can serve as a healthier option to oil in really any recipe. So here's the consistency you should have. See how it's kind of clumpy and sticking together? This is the crust of our bar. So we wanna make sure that all of the dry ingredients are mixed really well to form more of a crumble. We're going to line an eight by eight baking dish with some parchment paper. And I did turn my oven preheating to 350 degrees. We're going to add about two thirds of this crumb mixture to the parchment lined baking dish. And then you're just going to want to press that in place. That's what, again, what's going to make the crust. You want to make sure that your dough is pressed really firmly in the bottom of that baking dish, making sure it's just one solid sheet because again, this is the crust, so we need it to hold together. To our strawberries, we're going to add one tablespoon of cornstarch, and then I'm just going to mix this together really well. Just make sure those strawberries get coated in the cornstarch. 
Now we're going to add the strawberries right on top of the crust. And then go ahead and press those kind of firmly into place as well. Press them into that crust. I'm going to sprinkle about a tablespoon of the Lakanto right on top of the strawberries. That'll make them a little bit sweeter and add kind of that sugary topping to the strawberries. Now we're going to add the rest of our dough mixture right on top and again we'll just firmly press that into place. These look incredible. I wish I could see all those layers but the parchment paper that I have is that natural brown color so I can't see anything but I'm really excited for when these come out of the oven. They're going in a 350 degree oven for 35 minutes. I just pulled out the strawberry bars. These look absolutely incredible. Super, super good. They are still really soft. So I'm going to throw them in the fridge for about an hour or so, so that they can firm up a little bit. And then I'll cut one so you can see what the final bar looks like. One hour later. Look at how amazing these bars look. I do wanna just chop off a little piece just to show you what the bar looks like. Look at that strawberry goodness and that nice crust on the bottom. These look absolutely incredible. So there are these strawberry bars. I did taste that little corner I cut off. Absolutely delicious. Now they aren't super, super sweet. I'm glad they're not overly sweet. You still get that tartness from the strawberry, which I really appreciate. I will go ahead and put points, calories here on the screen for you, but this is a portion of this week's breakfast and I couldn't be happier. lunch this week I am making garlic butter chicken meatballs you know I love a good meatball and I haven't made any in a while and these sound really good we're gonna pair it with a roasted vegetable so it's going to be a low carb healthy lunch so let me show you what's in the recipe first you're going to need some chicken stock minced garlic fresh parsley you could also use dried parsley you'll need some salt and pepper light butter, light shredded cheese, a fresh lemon, some Italian seasoning, and a extra lean pound of ground chicken. And then for my vegetables, I'm actually doing asparagus. I bought this big pack at Sam's Club, so I'm going to throw them in the oven and roast them up. I'll season them with my salt and pepper. And then I'm also going to add some of the Dax Green Zest. This is my favorite seasoning for vegetables. It's so good. What I really like about Dax is they're nice clean ingredients. There's never any salt added. So you can control how much salt is in your seasoning by using Dax and then you could add a little bit of salt if you want to. We are going to add a tiny bit of salt and pepper, but I like that this is a no salt seasoning. This one, like I said, is great for vegetables, but the Dax seasonings are really good on everything. They're a super small business, husband and wife, which you know I love to support. So I am really excited to put some green zest on my asparagus and I will link Dax down below for you guys with 10% off. So let's get started on lunch meal prep for the week. For the meatballs, we're going to add one pound of our lean ground chicken, a big heaping scoop of minced garlic. You can never have too much garlic. About a half of a cup of chopped parsley or chopped cilantro, whatever you prefer. I ended up doing Italian leaf parsley. One half of a cup of light shredded cheese, Italian seasoning, and salt and pepper. Give it a good mix until everything is combined. You may need to go in with your hands. That's generally what I end up having to do to really get the meatballs mixed really well, but we want everything mixed together completely. And go ahead and form your meatballs. It really doesn't matter how many meatballs you get out of the mixture. We'll figure out how many meatballs per serving at the end based on the number of servings in the recipe. So here are the chicken meatballs. These look and smell really good. I'm going to set these aside while we prepare the asparagus so we can get the asparagus in the oven roasting the same time we get cooking down the meatballs. Thank you. 
So I'm going to put my asparagus into a 425 degree oven until it's cooked through. I like it when it gets a little bit crispy. I have three tablespoons of light butter. I'm going to add two of the tablespoons to my skillet and just allow it to melt down before you add in the meatballs. Now we're going to add our meatballs to the melted butter and we're going to allow the meatballs to cook completely through. You are going to want to flip your meatballs as they cook about halfway through or so. That way they get covered in the butter sauce at the bottom and they get nice and browned on both sides. So once your meatballs are done nice and browned, we're going to remove them from the pan, leave behind any extra sauce because we're actually going to make kind of a lemony garlic sauce to go on top of the meatballs. To that same pan, we're adding in that other that other tablespoon of butter, half of a cup of chicken broth, and then the recipe calls for the juice of a half of a lemon. I'm going to go ahead and juice a whole lemon just because I really want that lemon flavor to come through. And then we're going to allow this to simmer on the stove. It can have a light boil to it until it reduces to about half the amount that we have here. So you can see our sauce has thickened and reduced quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead, take it off the stove and we'll assemble the meal prep. So I'm ready to start assembling my meal preps. I have these little two compartment meal prep containers. I just picked these up off of Amazon literally several years ago when I still worked a regular nine to five job and they last forever. You can wash them in the dishwasher. So I'll link them down below for you as well. I also have the bowls and the three compartment ones. So I'll put them all down below for you. Here are the cooked meatballs. These look really delicious. So the recipe makes four servings. I have 23 meatballs. So basically it's about six meatballs per serving. So I'm going to go ahead and add the meatballs to the large side of the container. I'll drizzle one fourth of our buttery sauce right on top and then add a quarter of the pan of asparagus. And you can just kind of push that down into that small compartment. You could also put the asparagus in the big side, which may actually be better. We'll try that on the next one. But you wanna give yourself about a quarter of the cooked asparagus. So here's what the meal prep looks like. I'll probably add a fruit or something to mine as well, but a really good healthy lunch. So let's go ahead and put together the other three. So here is the completed meal prep. This looks so, delicious and like I said a really really healthy option pair it with your favorite carbohydrate you could add some rice to this you could put some fruit whatever you would like but this is what I'm having for lunches for the entire week I'll go ahead and put points calories and of course we know it's four servings here on the screen for you sweet treat this week I'm making peach crisp or peach cobbler with fresh peaches and fresh lemon it's going to be so good so let me show you what's in the recipe first you're going to need about four pounds of fresh peaches some rolled oats all-purpose flour salt again sweetener of your choice I'm again using the Lakanto, of course, and it is linked down below with 15% off. I'm also using the Lakanto Golden in place of the brown sugar in the recipe. You're going to need an egg, cinnamon, nutmeg, cornstarch, light butter, and one fresh lemon. Bring a big pot of water to a boil. Mine's just about ready to boil. And then we're going to add our peaches and allow them to sit in the boiling water for a couple of minutes. Then we're actually going to transfer them to a bowl of ice water. So essentially we're blanching them, which should make the peel of the peach slip right off so that we can chop them up. So my peaches are done in the boiling water, so I'm going to transfer them to the ice water for about a minute, and then we'll get them peeled, chopped, and pitted so that we can start assembling the peach crisp. So the peach should peel really easy. Oh, hey, that actually works. I've never done this whole blanching thing with fruit before, but the idea was to be able to easily remove the skin of the peach and that actually worked really well. We're going to remove the skin and then 
dice up the peaches. I'm gonna probably cut them kind of like canned peaches would come. So let's talk about the peaches. So what I found when I was preparing these is the peaches that were really, really ripe, like to the point that they're almost bad, you can see the skin came off super easy. Now the peaches that were a little bit more firm, the skin doesn't just peel right off. So what I ended up doing is peeling the skin off the ones I could, keeping the skin on the ones I couldn't, I don't know how worthwhile it is going through that process to remove the skin. You guys definitely let me know down in the comments if you have some tips and tricks, but I'm okay with a little bit of skin on some of the peaches. Also, another thing you could do is use canned peaches or frozen peaches. I just really wanted to bring in the fresh ones but it was a lot of work, I'm not gonna lie. So to that same bowl that we had the ice water in, I'm going to add all the peaches, one half of a cup of the Lakanto monk fruit, one quarter cup of cornstarch, some cinnamon, and then we're going to squeeze in one fresh lemon. And then mix your peach mixture all together. Get everything coated in that cornstarch. That's what's going to help thicken up all this juice and make it to the right consistency for the crisp. We're going to spray a nine by 13 baking dish with some nonstick cooking spray. And then to the bottom of the dish, add your peaches. These smell so cinnamony and sweet. Now we're going to make the crumble to go on top of our peaches. So I have one cup of rolled oats, one cup of all-purpose flour, one half of a cup of Lakanto, one half of a cup of brown sugar. This again is the Lakanto Golden. We're going to add nutmeg and cinnamon. One egg, and we just want the egg yolk, so I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of the white in the little measuring cup here, and we'll just add in the yolk. And lastly, half of a cup of light butter. Not lastly, we're going to add some salt as well. And then go ahead and mix all of this together until you have a crumble that's formed. Now I'm going to take the crumble. You want when you mix it together with your hand like this that it kind of sticks together, but there's enough flour in there to make it a little bit more of a crumbly consistency. And then we're just going to put that right on top of the peaches. So here is our peach crisp, it looks amazing. It's going into the 350 degree oven for 40 to 45 minutes. Keep an eye on it because if you see the top getting a little bit browned, cover it with some foil just so that it doesn't burn. I just pulled out the peach crisp. It smells so good. You can even see it bubbling up around the edges and look at the side. I mean, that looks so delicious. It smells cinnamon, nutmeg sweet. I'm really excited to have this for dessert tonight. I will go ahead and put serving sizes, points, calories here on the screen. You could add some ice cream, some Cool Whip. What a perfect summer dessert. Thank you for joining me for another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. They are all so incredibly delicious. I mean, so summery, such a good healthy vibe. Really excited for these. Don't forget you'll find these on my recipe website, which is linked down in the description box with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group. Don't forget to come join us there. That's how you can keep up with me a little bit more day to day. I do some fun giveaways and things specifically for my Facebook group, so come on over and join us. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to double check that all your bell notifications are turned on, and of course subscribe if you're not, I'd love to have you here. Happy Monday, friends. See you in the next one. Bye.